this will or in the trust referred to in Article 3. Something I got to speak on. I'm up in Harlem right now. King of YouTube, some man possible. And I just had two cups of coffee. I had one cup of coffee, regular coffee. Regular coffee, for those who don't know. Milk and sugar. Right? Regular coffee, when you get regular coffee, it give you like three teaspoons of sugar, two or three teaspoons of sugar, naturally. Right? So I was in Midtown, had a regular cup of coffee. In that regular cup of coffee, it was a regular cup of coffee. So I come up to Harlem, I get another cup of coffee. They must have put five teaspoons of sugar in this cup of coffee. Five, like five teaspoons. So what that tells me is one thing. In the hood, they don't respect their customers. The Arabs, the Latins, whoever, I don't care. They don't respect you. They hardly even respect your dollar. They kill you right away as soon as you buy a hero sandwich. They put mad salt on your turkey sandwich. On your ham and cheese sandwich, they put mad salt. You ask for a regular cup of coffee. I know, contradictory, right? This motherfucker standing there smoking, talking about a cup of coffee. Well, that's just how I am. That's what I do. But check it, right? These motherfuckers will give you six things of sugar inside a regular cup of coffee and kill you right away with diabetes. Even AIDS is smarter than these stores that serve you in the hood. AIDS has mutated to a point where they said, all right, if I kill this motherfucker in one year, I won't get a chance to spread myself and pop propagate my genes. So AIDS, what AIDS did, AIDS got smart and said, I'll stick around in the body for 19 and 20 years before I kill this motherfucker. And I'll spread myself all over the world. AIDS has mutated. It got smart. These Arabs that are running these bodegas in the hood need to mutate. Stop sugaring down our food. Stop salting up our food. Feed us healthy food the same way you would want your family to have healthy food. There is a, a lamb cart, a cart on Jamaica, not Jamaica Avenue, on Archer Avenue by the E-Train. There's As soon as you get out the station, not the cart on the corner by the movie theater, but the one right by the train station with an Arab lady in there. So the other day I said to her, the other day I said to the lady, I said, do you have any food ready? You know what the lady did? She took her bare hand. She took her bare hand, stuck it in the rice, and said, no, the food is not ready. This is what the lady did in my face. Like, I'm a fucking, I'm some kind of animal, and I'm not supposed to speak on that. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, no, thank you. I don't want the food. They don't respect you, black people. They do not look at you as a human life form. They do things to your food that they would never do to their own food. You ever notice when you go to the Chinese restaurant, they don't eat the same things that they feed y'all? We'll go and get a General Tso's chicken and don't know if that's real chicken, but they sitting down eating fish, rice, and vegetables. They won't even cook their food on the same grills that they cook your food on. So I'm telling you black people, you're responsible for your own health and your own condition because don't nobody love you but you. And once you start showing that you love yourself, then other people will respect you more. Now, I ain't saying boycott or nothing. I'm just saying make more conscious decisions when it comes to what you're putting in your body. And have a black and mild on me.